Good morning, good evening, or afternoon, boys and girls. This is Mr. Dormant with another Read Aloud. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to be reading a variety of nursery rhymes to you. Um, I'm reading this to you on Mother's Day. I don't know whether or not you're watching on Mother's Day. My guess is probably not. But when I was a little boy, yes, Mr. Dorman used to be little too. I'm still little, but I actually used to be younger. Um, my mom used to read me fairy tales and nursery rhymes, and it was one of the most enjoyable moments of my day or evening, or she'd read them before I went to bed. And so I figured I would read some nursery rhymes, some of which my mom used to read to me, and I have very fond memories. Other ones I used to read to my own children, and some that are just kind of famous that a lot of people have heard, and maybe there's a sup something that some that you have not. I hope you enjoy. It's going to be a variety. I'll probably read like five or six different nursery rhymes. Um, just something a little bit different rather than a full book. It's just going to be some nursery rhymes. I hope you enjoy. Let me just uh, lean a little bit this way so that you can see me better. And uh, I hope you enjoy. Once again, this is just a few nursery rhymes. Here's certainly a famous one. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Here's another famous one. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport, and a dish ran away with a spoon. That'd be kind of silly to see a dish running away with a spoon. Now this one, I have a son, I have one son, his name is Jack, and sometimes we call him by this name. Jack Spratt could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean, and so between the pair of them they licked the platter clean. Quite often we will call Jack, Jack Spratt, so he's used to it. Little boy blue, come blow your horn, the sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where is the boy who cares for the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Will you wake him? No, not I, for if I do, he's sure to cry. And then one just last bedtime one. The man in the moon looked into the room, looked into the room and said, It's off. It's time for all children around the world to hop in to their cozy beds. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed some of those nursery rhymes. I will be back with a book or maybe some more nursery rhymes or some more fairy tales at some other point. Let me just lean back over this way a little bit. And I hope you enjoy yourself and have a great day. Take care. Be safe.